If we don't know how to handle emotional states with equanimity, integrity and clarity, we never fully enter adulthood, but remain at some level children. Jinky 48, with the shadow of inadequacy, the city of wisdom and it's the path of resourcefulness. My wisdom story. My father was an idealistic young man who was willing to sacrifice his life for our country. He admired the bravery, cooperations and loyalty he experienced during the war, almost as much as he hated the way he and his fellow soldiers were received after it ended. He felt dropped and forgotten by the very people for whom he gave everything and manipulated by the government he had served with such devotion. By the time I was halfway through elementary school, he was a bitter, paranoid and unscrupulous man. When he wasn't obsessing over conspiracy theories and spying on the government, he was unleashing his anger at me, constantly criticizing me for being undisciplined and unattractive. My mother was consumed with making ends meet, running the household and keeping up appearances. All she wanted for me was to do well in school and look good, so that the neighbors wouldn't notice what was happening behind closed doors. As my sense of unworthiness grew, I found myself glued to the television, watching soap operas filled with beautiful people and the commercials that flaunted perfect women who were gorgeous, successful and seductive all at once. In comparison, I felt unbearably bland. As I entered puberty, the pressure I felt to look, act and perform well increased. I became obsessed with my appearance, grades and getting into the best college. I couldn't sleep before tests. Desperate to fill the void in my belly and calm my nerve system, I binged and purged with food. It wasn't until I was in high school, thanks to a wonderful English teacher who encouraged me to write about my most private pain, that I came to understand how my life had been hijacked by a deep sense of inadequacy. My teacher didn't just see my suffering, she saw a depth, sensitivity and wisdom in me I didn't even know was there. She kept pulling it out of me. I have her to thank for the way my life unfolds as I blossomed into a young woman, came to trust my inner knowing and fell in love with the earth-based spirituality. Today I sleep peacefully and have the great honor of facilitating emotionally and spiritual healing rites of passage for 7 to 14 years old. Every day I am inspired and amazed by the inner resources of these kids. My gift to you. Do not hide from the well of darkness within you, for there is light and boundless riches at the bottom of that well. You can find elegant solutions to all life's challenges and just the right support when you need it most. But first, you must re-seizure your body that it is safe, even when you don't have all the answers. Let the parents in you love and hold the child within, even in the presence of fear. Over time, you will spontaneously dive into the void and discover more warmth there than you ever expected. Trust your inner knowing and the people around you will start dipping into your well and drawing out more resourcefulness and wisdom than you realized you had. You are far more adequate than you can possibly imagine. To dive deeper into your own wisdom well, you can ask yourself the following questions. What is your relationship to fear? Do you tend to repress and avoid your fear? Or do you tend to act it out or react to it? Where do you feel most inadequate? How does not feeling good enough impact your thoughts, feelings and actions? Do people tend to feel intimidated or inadequate around you? Who in your life has truly seen your wisdom and pulled it out? Think of a time you experienced or expressed your wisdom. Write down 10 of your greatest inner resources. Notice the feelings and thoughts that arise as you do this. That's it. Much love and happy contemplating.